I cry when we win and I cry when we lose just for those of you guys haven't seen a lot of crying when we win because um, we haven't had those opportunities yet. You know, when we can put, you know, Siobhan and Khalid together on the court and we get TJ back, um, and Big Eric we missed the other night and he's back, uh, you know, I, I think we're a pretty good team and uh, very competitive in the MAC conference. And, um, you know, I think the, the guys proved that today. Uh, it feels great. I mean, like I say all the time, I, I hold myself and my teammates to a high standard. I think we should have got rolling a lot sooner. But, I mean, we got our guys back. We got uh, more experienced players on the court. And it's fun playing with the guys. And you can see it on the court today. And now Khalid and TJ are starting to get their, um, their win back. And we're, we're balling. Sometimes TJ gets lost in the conversation. He's so valuable to our team for so many reasons where he can stretch the defense. He makes good decisions. He's feisty. Uh, he's tough defensively, and then, but Eric and Phil uh, haven't had a lot of uh, experience playing in meaningful games, and um, I think both of them are having really good years. And I think it's uh, statistically in comparison, it gets lost in in conversation because we haven't won enough games. I I really think we're starting to uh, to get it, and a lot of that is just simply having our best players healthy. I think when I played Fairfield the first time, it was like my second game. Um, I was, you know, dog tired. Uh, but tonight, you know, I played 37 minutes, and I don't feel like I was, you know, that tired tonight. Uh, I've been practicing hard and, you know, running to get back in shape, and I think it's paying off. You know, victory can taste so sweet, and it, yet it's so hard to attain. And I thought we've earned that. 